Warning. Tomb of Annihilation spoilers ahead. We rejoin Nala the Druid, Zaley the Ranger, Barakas the Rogue, Torin the Paladin, Zandala, and Orvex around where the entrance to the Tomb of the Nine Gods should be. They have traveled to the base of the cliffs, where a 15-foot-tall obelisk of black, cracked stone is draped with vines and black moss. Behind it, there is a dark passageway obscured by withered creepers. A second, smaller tunnel burrows into the base of the cliff to the east. Before we continue, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Torn removes the moss from the obelisk and finds a warning engraved on its face. Fear the night when the Forsaken One ceases death's mantle and the seas rise up and the dead rise and I... Asarak the Eternal, reap the world of the living. Those who dare enter, take heed. The enemies oppose. One stands between them. In darkness, it hides. Don the mask or be seen. Speak no truth to the doomed child. The keys turn on the inside only. After having dealt with the Tomb of Horrors, my players immediately assume the entrances in front of them are not the actual one and take a look around. There is a brief search before Nala discovers another entrance heavily obscured by vines. There is a door behind these vines with nine slots set in three sets of three. These slots are exactly the size of the puzzle cubes. Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary peoples, we have arrived. The enemies oppose, but one stands between them. It seems related to the shrines we saw in the smaller cave. The east entrance, which is a false one, has a clue to how the puzzle cubes should be placed. Statues of animals are placed opposing each other, though notably the flail snail isn't opposite any statue. Once you have that clue, it's not that difficult of a puzzle and, upon completion, the puzzle cubes vanish as the huge door slowly opens, revealing a dark walkway beyond. Nala slowly steps into the dark hallway and is greeted by a lever that has risen out of the ground ahead. There is a small hourglass that has flipped over and the sand is draining quickly. Instinctively, Nala runs in and throws the lever. She is unceremoniously dumped into a pit with poison spikes. Suspicious duck will resume suspicion. Need some help? Yeah. Throw a rope. The trap slowly resets itself, but when the party crosses the threshold and don't pull the lever, nothing happens. They reach a fork just in time to see a skeleton with a head shaped like a triangle key dashed by and down a dark corridor. What the f is that? Badakas is recurring nightmare. Meatless bones. The way opposite the running skeleton reveals a crystal window that looks into a vaulted tomb overgrown with moss and creepers. A stone sarcophagus rests on a stepped dais in the middle of the floor. On the wall behind the sarcophagus, two large statues grip a five foot diameter bronze disc embossed with a dozen glaring eyes. Six desiccated corpses slump on thrones in niches along the walls. Each corpse wears a black mask of papier mache and feathers. But I guess we'd like a mask. Yeah, don't go in just yet, buddy. We don't know what's going on here. Are you sure this is where we need to go? Do you have a better idea? Well, no, now that you ask. Orvex, do you know what's going on? No, I didn't plan to make it this far. Oh, good plan then. Let's break this crystal window and check out that room. But it might cause explosive decompression. Zaley, for just a moment, forgot that we are not in outer space and thought destroying the window would cause things to get pulled through it. That isn't going to happen yet. Zaley thunks two arrows into the crystal glass, the while its spiderweb cracked, it didn't fully break. Torin then just walks up to the window and puts a plate armor covered fist through it. Smooth! The bronze disc with many unblinking eyes is enough to make anyone uneasy. After some deliberation, Barakas uses his darkness spell for the forces of good and blinds the eyes. Wait, what was the riddle thing again? In darkness it hides. Don the mask or be seen. There are enough masks here for everyone except Orvex. Sorry, dude, but Boblia gets a mask first. Not to worry. I'll hang back a bit further then. Badakas holds onto the darkness spell while everyone dons a mask. Nala walks up to the sarcophagus and starts trying to heave it open. It's a rough task as the sarcophagus lid is extremely heavy, 
but eventually the stone lid comes off and falls to the ground. Inside the sarcophagus is the bones of a small animal and a ring covered in dust. Nala hesitates when she sees the ring. Grab the ring, Nala. Nala tentatively touches the ring and the dust swirls into a shape of a small, feral, bear-like creature that billows towards her with a ghostly roar. And thus, we are joined by the first trickster god, the Zorbo, Obolaka. What other spirits and dark secrets lay deeper in the Tomb of the Nine Gods? You'll find out soon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. I'll see you all next time.